What's the swimmer? My name is Otomoto and this is my new ship, the Grimyashi Tier 5 exclusive Russian premium destroyer. And oh my god, it looks so good. So if you know anything about my channel, first I'm not a Russian, <laughs> okay? And second, I don't like to waste your time, so I'm just gonna go straight into it as fast as possible and tell you everything there is to know about the ship because I know you're in a hurry you can get this ship for three days uh, only apparently um, since it's on a 15% discount and it's supposed to be like the exclusive until the uh, open beta or closed beta ends and after that for one year you will not be able to get it so is this a good ship or not a good ship well first of all it's a beautiful ship uh, when I got it first, I, all I, only thing I could think of was what the heck did actually did the motherland build this? I was expecting some kind of a square piece of armor that was efficient and Russian strong, but no, it's really elegant. Look at this, uh, look at this wave-like protection, whatever they are. And as it turns out, the real thing was actually designed and built in Italy and so like most in italian built things it was beautiful and totally crappy assembled it was breaking down constantly and turns out to be rather shitty boat but that doesn't matter this is the game one so we're gonna go over the statistics mr oleg oleg rubliov thank you for commanding my new ship now the sur survivability 3100 uh, health armor is 6 to 13 millimeters so basically it's just keeping the water out, out of the ship um, main batteries you have four main batteries uh, rate of fire is nice 12 rounds per minute uh, they are not very fast 36 uh, seconds uh, degree turn time I have active activated my upgrades for the rotation of the main turrets so it could be less uh, than in stock maximum dispersion 104 meters they are pretty precise you can end lovely lovely firing range 11.9 so basically 12 kilometers it's it's good okay the main batteries are nice a little bit slow but you can you can manage okay and i know what you're all thinking how are the torpedoes this is destroyer it's a torpedo boat so uh, reload time 70 seconds uh, 1400 uh, 400 damage so that's pretty standard but lovely range eight kilometers but they are slow 55 knots they are slow and uh, uh, what can i say i had uh, kawachi actually uh, notice them and uh, dodge them and he was completely uh, broadside to the angle of the torpedo so i know it's it's a bit iffy you will have to be uh, sneaky with your torpedoes and let's go straight to the concealment seven kilometers normal and for uh, airplanes 3.6 so basically uh, there's a one kilometer difference where you can fire your torpedoes without being seen and still manage to hit the opposing ship um, well you know how it is there are always the islands and stuff in between but it's it's doable so far i played like a couple of matches it's good uh, the AA guns are all over the place. Uh, we have 12.7 DHAK, then we have some Colts, Colt machine guns. How those got on there, I have no idea. 37mm um, in the back and uh, 76 in the front. Very uh, small range, check the range. So the bigger guns have 2 km range and the smaller anti aircraft has basically a kilometer range so what does it mean is that you can just leave your anti-aircraft on all the time and when the, when you hear them firing you know you have been spotted because they are well within 3.6 kilometers the airplanes so um what else can i tell you i guess that's about it ah yes i want to show you the modules so we have uh free uh, upgrades to choose from you can see them here anti-aircraft main and torpedo tube modifications uh, then the second aa torpedo gunfire main battery uh, modifications 
and standard damage control system, propulsion and steering. I chose propulsion because, you know, fuck steering, but if you're not moving, you're dead anyway, so it's, it's, it's up to you. And this thing is supposed to be, uh, this is a premium vehicle. In case you don't know, it's just like in World of Tanks, so you get extra uh, money, basically credits from the game. You get extra experience that you can turn into free experience. Actually, it says right here. <laughs> More credits and experience per battle. Uh, you get free experience also that is used uh, wherever in the tech tree for, for whatever nation, whatever ship and uh, you can uh, retrain commanders on this ship so basically on all the russian ships of which i have none but you know it's closed beta uh, you can just put the other russian on the ship and he gets uh, experience uh, with the bonus uh, there will probably be daily bonuses there already are see i have a 1.5 daily bonus on my congo so you can use that to have like a uh, you don't have to retrain your commander to drive the ship. Every Russian know how to drive this ship. So, that was actually something between Russian and Italian, sorry about it. <laughs> um, let's just jump into a match and see how it performs. Okay, so um, this was one of the better games I have. Uh, I tried to make this movie as fast as I could. Because I know you're all in a hurry to find out about the ship is it worth buying or not so I also need to edit the movie and upload it through my through my potato to YouTube so uh, it's not the best gameplay I could get my hands on but it's, it's pretty good um, I'm sure as the time goes by and we all learn how to play the ships some tactics will come up that are better than others but for now, this is what we have to. This is what we have to do with. So it's the ocean map. It's the most famous map in World of Warships. It took 12 months of development time. Just look at it. It's so complex and innovative. So right away, I run into the Nicholas and Mister. Uh, I forget what was his name. His name. He really gave me a trouble to all out this uh, this game I really wish I could have sunk him sooner so I fired off my torpedoes basically blind I don't really want to mess with this guy uh, his turrets are tracking better than mine are and uh, I don't really want to be spotted so I pop my spoke and get back into the cover and I'm just using my back turrets uh, on the on this ship, the, uh, the uh, frontmost turret, the one on the bow, does not turn as much as the second turret. So sometimes you, you just keep, keep an eye on those um, for the ranges. The ranges are pretty good, but the first one seems to be blocked by something. You see, it's a, a few, uh, just a few degrees of uh, difference. Okay, come on guys, action, action, people are watching. So what's up, yeah, I was actually wondering, should I go to the right side of the map or the, or the left side? Because you know, the right side has all this water and the left side, on the other hand, has all this water. And I just couldn't decide because of this lovely diversified map. So I said, just, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll just go straight. There's also water here, and it's flat. <laughs> so, the Nicholas, I'm really trying to sink this guy. And I lost some health at the beginning of the match because of him. And check the map, and I really am a little bit stupid here. See, I'm just tunnel visioning on this guy up front. A, a good hit from my gun into his citadel could destroy him. And then I'm like, holy fuck shit! Main turret, the Lewis! And I was actually a little bit screaming right now. So I thought I'm dead, but I'm taking you with me. And uh, since the torps are really slow, 
trying to see where will he turn because he cannot kill me. He doesn't have many uh, guns up front. And yep, he did turn. He missed the first ones, but <laughs> you don't go far, Mr. Lewis. Hasta la vista. So this was basically my kill, but he didn't record it as my kill. You know what? This was actually quite a good game. Um, I might be making a too good of too good of a, a, an advertisement for this ship. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so the Lewis is down. The uh, Nicholas is running for his life. I don't want to see you, man. Shoo. And uh, I really don't remember. What was I thinking? Oh, oh yes, this is just a bonus. I actually hit something. Is the happy camera shake? This is, by the way, the the voiceover is done later, and I actually have the memory of a goldfish. So although it was recorded like two hours ago, I just don't know what I was doing in this replay. <laughs> and uh, seven kilometer spotting range on this ship. So now I'm spotted. Uh, I should have turned earlier. But how it goes so I fired off my first volley and then later the second volley I'm kind of have this theory that once they see the first volley they start turning and doing something so maybe you can catch them with the second volley and just scare them with the first um, the ships have 55 uh, knots speed and 8 kilometer range so they are they are okay if you can like uh, big air quotes snipe the battleship but basically you will have to um, use the terrain like the islands as you can see on this map there's many of them they're just imaginary <laughs> like the islands and uh, the terrain and other stuff to just surprise the battleships with them you, you should be close they're also good as the defensive weapon when something comes close to you just fire off a few you, you know the drill you probably play destroyers uh, so it's it plays mixed it's it's definitely not uh, minekaze i just love minekaze for the speed the, the the invisibility of it and the just torpedo spam the shit out of everything this is a mix between um, american destroyers which are gun based and the japanese which are um, torpedo based and it's it's okay you, you you can manage there's a lot of things that you should be doing all at the same time with the ship so I just I'm just gonna interpret that as uh, having even more fun um, this was actually surprising sunk. but I sunk that cruiser I think you can manage with this ship, yes, you could, if you pick your fights and uh, here's the experience I had with premium vehicles in World of Tanks, you just, it's like your little baby, you paid money for it, you just love it, even though it's, you know, it could probably even suck, but you just love it, because you have to, <laughs> and uh, you play it more than you play your other vehicles, and that's why you get really good at it, so it doesn't matter. Just starting getting, start getting even better results with it. So here's the pesky Nicholas again, and uh, I want that thing down. I really do because he can spot me, he can kill me. He's the most dangerous ship for me out there. And uh, let's see if the if the Russian. Miyashchi, which actually translates into um, thunderous. Yay! He can. Enemy destroyer so Mr. Thunder can sink Nicholas. And no, I'm not Russian. I'm Croatian. And yes, there's a giant difference. But I have a friend that speaks Russian, so I actually asked him how am I supposed to pronounce this, because I don't want to sound like an asshole uh, pronouncing it wrong. Um, so I think 
the rest of this match could be a little bit boring, but so so perhaps I'll do some skipping ahead for the action. Uh, I'm having my anti-aircrafts on all the time, so I don't really care if the planes, uh, if I start shooting at the planes automatically. So, uh, first torpedoes are supposed to scare him, then he's supposed to turn, and the second line is supposed to hit him. Well, in theory, you know, uh, you get two, two launchers, three torpedoes each, obviously, and uh, quite a big reload between them. Well, com big reload compared to Minekaze, which is like already turning out to be by far my favorite ship in the game. Izokaze, Minekaze, they are all nice. The tier 6, however, Japanese destroyer, not so much. So I'm doing, perhaps, some of you in the comments will be cursing me now because I'm using AP for the battleship. And um, you know that dog on 9 gag that has the glasses and he says I have no idea what I'm doing? Well, this is it. I really don't. <laughs> I'm not completely sure about the ammo types yet. I know the AP does more damage when it penetrates, but uh, I'm not sure if my guns and at which range can safely penetrate the citadel of a battleship. So. Please don't be mad if I'm a noob. It's a brand new ship. It only sunk like five times before this game. Okay, Otto, come on, play, damn it. People wanna see some action, you're just driving on this beautiful map. And this was my idea. Um, what I should have done, I should have come closer and torpedoed him while he was playing with whatever he just killed, so um, I felt a little bit bad about this. But let's see. Let's re remember, 7 km detection range, 8 km torpedo range. Can we do it? First line and second. Here's the thing about firing torpedoes. And you, goddamn you, Nicholas, I'm gonna fuck you up now, okay? This is it, you're going down. And come on, come on. Uh, you can see the turret, uh, turret speed time. It's not the greatest, but it works. And here's the, that AP shot that I was looking for. Yes, straight through the nose. Enemy destroyer sunk. Yes, see you later, Mr. Mr. Destroyer. So, three ships sunk. Bit sweet. I actually missed with the torpedoes. Somehow he managed to speed up, which is I don't know how. And uh, it's far away, and he just lands a lucky shot and destroys me. But here's the end. Uh, you can see how much credits I had thousand uh, experience it was a defeat so no no bonus this is maybe more indicative of how much this ship will make money uh, team scores sorted by experience not bad not bad I'm pretty pleased with it so all in all guys I'm happy with my ship because you know I have to I paid money for it um, thank you for checking out my channel I hope you had fun if you had fun maybe you would like to subscribe I don't know see you later automoto out